All right, welcome back. Um, for this uh, stiffness matrix, uh, since EI was constant, we pulled it out, and I just rewrote the um, values here without the EI. Um, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and figure out what KI is for, or what the stiffness matrix, uh, the stiffness matrix is um, for each of the elements, 1, 2, and 3. So let's start with element 1. We're going to get K sub 1 is equal to this matrix is going to be used as our template. And since the only variable here is L, which stands for length, uh, we're going to take the length of element 1, plug them into all 16 of these values, and come up with the matrix for um, K1. So starting with 4 over L or 4 over 10, um, that's going to be 2 over 5. So we're going to plug in 2 over 5 here. And then we plug in 2 over L or 2 over 10. That's going to be 1 over 5. And then we have 3 over 50, right? Because 10, we plug it into L squared. That's 6 over 100 is 3 over 50. And then we have a negative 3 over 50 here. We continue with the next row. We have 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 over 50, negative 3 over 50. Then we have 3 over 50, 3 over 50, 3 over 250, because um, L cubed here for 12, uh, for this spot right here is L cubed. Um, so that's 10 cubed, so 12 over uh, 1,000 would be 3 over uh, 250. And then you have negative 3 over 250. Then you have negative 3 over 50, negative 3 over 50. Uh, negative 3 over 250 and then finally 3 over 250 okay and the way I'm gonna label the rows and columns um, is according to our uh, left to right rule okay so what that means is I'm gonna look at element 1 and I'm gonna label uh, the rows and columns depending on the types of degrees of freedom element 1 has so element 1 from left to right starting with rotations we have four and one then we move to verticals left and right left to right we have five and six so i'm going to label the row here four one five six four one five six i'm going to do one in green right and then we have four one five six and again i'm going to write the one in green here okay so that's um <clears throat> that's for element one Element 2, or k sub 2, is going to be somewhat of the same thing, right? We look at element 2. Element 2 has a length of 12, and we take 12 when we plug it into this template here. And if we figure out what those values are, if we plug in 12 for each of those values, we're going to get 1 3rd, 1 6th, 1 24th, negative 1 24th, oops, and those negative signs are very, very, very important. Uh, one sixth, one third, one twenty fourth, negative one twenty fourth, uh, one twenty fourth, one twenty fourth, one over one forty four, uh, negative one over one forty four. Ooh, that doesn't look pretty at all. One forty four, and then finally negative 1 over 24, uh, negative 1 over 24, uh, 1 over 144, and that's a negative. Um, and then finally, 1 over 144. And again, I'm going to label the rows and columns according to um, element 2. Element 2 is 1, 2, 6, 7. So I'm going to write 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, and then 6, 7, right, 6, 7, 6, 7, and then element 3, element 3 is actually um, the same as element 1, right, the, the length is 10, so it's going to have the same stiffness matrix as, um, L, uh, as element 1, so I'm just going to scroll down a bit here, I'm going to copy, copy, oops, that's not copying. There we go. 
I'm going to copy this right here and I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to call this K sub 3 K sub 3 okay and the way I'm going to label this is well I look back at this diagram and I see that our degree of freedoms are 2, 3, 7, 8 starting with uh, rotations, then verticals, then horizontals, right? So 2, 3, 7, 8. So 2, 3, 7, oh, 7, 8. 2, 3, 7, 8. All right, so here are the stiffness matrices for um, all three elements uh, using this uh, template and um, we'll continue on in the next video we'll, in the next video we'll find the S of complete matrix and it will also give me time to plug in my battery alright so see you then